welcome back to vlogmas day 25 it is the last day of vlogmas um so we are going to be baking some cookies they're not homemade but hey there's nothing wrong with getting some pre-made cookie dough and just popping them in the oven whenever you have that craving so that's completely fine um but i am going to be talking about different things in today's vlogmas um little haul we actually went to two different stores we had a pickup order and then i also went into aldi so from heb we got a 50 pound of dog food and then we also needed more sugar so we got more sugar this is the hill country fair granulated sugar four pounds so we need more sugar because i'm always making sweet tea we need it for coffee etc um and then i went into aldi and i don't know if you guys have aldi but it's basically like a grocery mart um a german grocery mart um, and to get a buggy you need a quarter you put in the quarter and then it doesn't take your quarter But whenever you put the buggy back you put the little clasp and then it gives back your quarter um, But yeah, I went into Aldi. So I got four things. Can y'all believe they were out of bread? Out of all freaking things we needed bread and I don't know why I just said bread like that But we're just gonna bypass that we're fine. I'm gonna leave that home in too. So I actually had to get the honey I actually had to get the honey split top wheat, the honey wheat bread, so this is what I got. Um, and then we like oats in the house, so I got the old fashioned rolled oats. And then, okay, everybody in my household drinks coffee every single day like like clockwork it it's just a thing we need it to function if we don't have coffee we will not be able to function properly and we're probably going to be really mad at the world because we don't have caffeine in our system so um i went to the dairy aisle like where all the milks cheeses butter creamers everything's at right i go into aldi they have zero creamer at all zero none so what i had to get was actually um non-dairy creamer and i don't know how i'm going to feel about this but my mom said go ahead and get it um so i actually have two different creamers here i actually had gotten two different creamers and we usually don't buy this creamer we usually buy like coffee made or um was it delightful house or some crap like that like diff like the regular creamers right and different flavors so i actually had to get non-dairy creamer and i don't know how i'm going to feel about this but what sold me was the name so i had actually called my mom up when i was in the store this is actually an oat meal cookie creamer and it's actually an oat creamer so hopefully this tastes fine um i'm streaming for eight hours tonight so um hopefully this will help me well like the coffee situation it'll be good enough for me to drink while i'm streaming um but i need to pull off an eight hour and hopefully the caffeine will overpower this and like kind of kick in um so this one is the oatmeal cookie oat creamer it's non-dairy and this is what it looks like right here if it wants to focus focus for me and then we actually got a almond milk non-dairy creamer in caramel if you guys say caramel caramel i say both so it's whatever your preference is um this is an almond milk creamer non-dairy creamer and if you guys are on that plant-based journey then this is plant powered as well but there was no creamer so i had to opt for this and they have this is a caramel one and they had two other ones so by this one in this bottle they actually had sweet cream they had vanilla hazelnut caramel and for this one this was legitimately the last bottle left so this 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 is this hoe is going to be used tonight and hopefully it's going to be good enough and then from also heb we actually got my mom was craving chocolate chip cookies and um yeah the whole household loves cookies no matter like where it comes from so yeah we actually got some chocolate chip cookie dough this one is by the pillsbury um brand it's just cookie dough and it says uh, right there if you guys want to focus for me okay so it's just regular chocolate chip cookie dough so that's what we're going to be doing today um today's comment let me see let me see let me see hmm what are your new year's resolutions for the new year i don't ever have any just because i never stick with them it ju I just live day day to day so um but yeah that is what I want y'all to comment for me and we're going to go ahead and bake some cookies my camera is on I don't even know what my camera's on maybe like 28 percent because I was editing the vlog last night um I still have to throw up day 24 this is going to be 25 and then I also have a video for everybody it's not just for my gaming for my beauty girls anything like that it's actually going to be like how to start your YouTube channel type of video so be on the lookout for that but we're going to go ahead and and throw these hoes in and yeah we're going to make some cookie dough well cookies 
All right, y'all, so if the lighting's a little bit off, I already told y'all that one of our lights went out, so it's fine. Um, outfit of the day, I literally went into the store with pajamas on, and I don't have a care in the world. Um, but yeah, I have my new leopard pajamas on, um, and this is the, um, the lounge top. Um, I have my new smartwatch on, my James Avery bracelet, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just myself. So let's go ahead and pin our hair back, and let's go ahead and wash our hands, and then we will start the cookies. Okay, so hands are washed, hair is up hands are clean so let's go ahead and start with the cookie dough so this is basically self-explanatory if you will so all I'm going to do is probably get a knife to open this hoe slice them up I'm not even going to roll them um, I'm just going to slice them up and then throw them in so the um, oven I already knew what temperature it need to be thrown in at it's 350 because we baked this cookie these cookies like countless times. So 350 for 12 to 15 minutes, depending on if you like them chewy, if you like them a little crispier. My family likes it um, golden brown and a little bit chewier on the inside. So let me go ahead and get a knife. I'm just going to go ahead and use this knife and go ahead and roll up my sleeves. Um, I don't know why it has like this metal deal on the top. I never understood that, but let me go ahead and just Cut this hoe off. Ooh. Okay. And for this one, there's also um, Toll House or Tall House or whatever. They have that cookie bra uh, cookie dough brand. And this cookie dough is actually safe to eat. It says it right on the package. It says it's safe to eat raw, eat or bake. Um, I know every child has done that in the past. You can't tell me you have it because if you did, if you're saying that you have it, then you're lying. <laughs> um, but yeah, you just basically want to roll it out. Um, some people might want to like roll it or whatever, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut it and then form like little cookie dot, like balls on the side. Let me go ahead and turn y'all this way, back you guys up a bit. You guys are actually on the new oatmeal um, deal. So I'm just going to basically cut and then just form it into a shape, like so. And this is an ungreased baking sheet because there's already um, butter and different type of oils already in the cookie dough, so it will spread by itself. I might throw these hoes in for maybe, um, I don't know, maybe 13 minutes, if so. Let me go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and do this. Sometimes I roll it, sometimes I don't, but they're going in your mouth anyway, so I don't think the shape really matters at this point. And if they're like not circular how you want it, you could just form them a little bit into a circle. I do have a homemade chocolate chip recipe if you guys want me to do that in the future. Just let me know down below. Go ahead and do that. And we have one spear left. Well, two spears left. So let me go ahead and put that there. It's very quick, effective, and yeah, you just never can go wrong with um, chocolate chip cookies. And I know some people actually don't like chocolate chips, so they actually make brown butter sugar cookies, which is fine. It's basically just a chocolate chip cookie without the chocolate chips, but we like chocolate chips in the house. So I'm going to go ahead and just press them down a bit. And that is what the first batch looks like going in. So I'm going to go ahead and pop her in. Okay. We'll do 13 minutes. And then now I'm going to start on the second loaf. Loaf? Should I say loaf? Is it loaf? Okay, let me go ahead and slice that in half. It is currently 6.18 right now in the evening. I already did all my chicken duties. Um, yesterday we had Alfredo. Today, I think I'm just, I don't know what I'm going to eat. I have no idea. I know my brother wants me to make him grilled cheese and soup. So I'll probably do that. But maybe I'll just have like leftovers, like leftover um, Alfredo. Or maybe I'll have ramen. I have no idea. But this one, this one, it, this one I'm going to have to mold with my hands. 
Um, I can't exactly shape it, not shape it, but cut it. So I'm gonna have to mold this one with my hands just because the texture is a little more not solidified than the other one. So we'll just go ahead and get the whole log out and we'll just shape it. And we did curbside just because it's easier for us. Sometimes we don't like going inside. Sometimes I have like social anxiety. Um, it just really depends on the day. So we did curbside pickup for HEB. Like I said, if you guys don't have an HEB, then I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, we've been, we use HEB a lot. It's like our favorite grocery store. We have really good deals, really good prices. But, and the dog food there, my, my dogs love their food. So let me go ahead and, ooh, see this cookie dough, this, this cookie dough does not want to work with me here, like at all. And then we'll throw this batch in whenever that batch is done. Okay. Ooh, yeah, this cookie dough does not want to work with me. Like at all. I wonder why that is. And let me see. What have we done today? Um, me and my brother actually spent some time together today. We were watching Vampire Diaries. I'm actually still watching it right now on the TV. We're in season three right now. Um, let me see. Today was just a chill day. I mean, it's a day after Christmas. So um, we're just spending time with family. And then also... Um, I have been growing some snake plants, like some Sansevieria plants in the greenhouse, and I changed out the water like every two to three weeks, and I brought them in, and they have like major growth, and I was showing my mom and my stepdad like the, like the super, like super like major growth that it has had like in the past like few weeks, and we have our favorite male woman, our favorite male lady, and I'm thinking about gifting her one. Well, I'm not thinking about it. I am because I, um, I actually, my mom had picked out two of the, um, snake plant stems, not stems, but like leaves that are already grown, like a little bit matured. And whenever she comes to pick up the package on Friday, I'm going to actually give it to her. So that's going to be another Christmas present for her and herself, her, her house, her husband, and whatnot. I thought it was a really good idea. And it's literally minimal work. It just, if it's going to be inside, then you only need to water it like maybe every three, four, five months. And I already watered it for her, so she doesn't have to worry about it for a few months. Um, but if it's like an outside plant, then it needs to be watered. Um, it just, the, it just basically varies because it depends on where you live and what the temperature's like. But okay, so these cookies are not symmetrical at all. Let me go ahead and wash my hands. Okay, let me give y'all a front shot of what the cookies look like and my hands are washed. So these are what the second batch looks like. I know they do not look symmetrical. Don't even clown me in the comments. Don't come for me in the comments. I don't want to hear it, but that is what um, the first batch looks like. So we're going to wait until those are done. We're going to throw these hoes in and then we will be done with the cookies. While we're waiting for the cookies to get done well with the first batch, I feel kind of spicy right now. So I'm going to actually be making some coffee and we're going to try this creamer out hopefully it's really good um i'm banking it should be good because if it's not i'll be super disappointed but let's go ahead and pop her open i'm going to be using cafe busello just because i want espresso like the espresso taste i don't want just normal coffee let me go ahead and grab this little cup right here Go ahead and fill one of the pods. So I like to use a brown pod because it is, I want to say it brews a six ounce if I'm, I could be completely mistaken. I could be completely wrong. Um, but I want to say it's a six ounce that it brews. And we're going to use Cafe Bucello just because it's our favorite coffee that we like to use on the day to day basis. It's super strong, super like bold in flavor so i'm going to go ahead and do two scoops of espresso into the cup i'm going to go ahead and just pop the silicone little oh shoot mm. pop this on 
go ahead and put that here. And then we're going to go ahead and drop that. Put this lever down and go ahead and brew her. Okay. And then let me go ahead and put the coffee back. And now the coffee's going to brew. So I already brewed the espresso and we literally have a minute on the cookies. So I got my cup of ice. Let's go ahead and put some sugar in this espresso. Where's the cup? Where's the dang cup? Did I forget to put the cup in? No, I didn't. Where did I, Where did I put the dang? No, it's right here. I just couldn't feel it. I have sandwich moments sometimes. It's fine. Let me go ahead, that's how much sugar I use. Let's go ahead and pour it into the coffee. Go ahead and mix it around. Okay, I usually like to pour it over ice um, just because I don't like I don't like waiting. We tried that method before, me and my mom, and it felt like the coffee lost its flavor because it was exposed to oxygen already for like a long period of time whenever we, we would let it cool down. So we don't like doing that anymore. Let me go ahead and get the cookies out. Ooh, those look like perfection. That is what the cookies look like. Now we're going to let them cool. Always let your cookies cool. Always. Don't eat them until they're cool. So we're going to let her cool on the counter. Okay. Now let's throw the last batch in. Okay. We'll do 13 minutes as well. Start. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this creamer really quick. So I really do have to open the whole thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and remove it. It's good. You can definitely taste like, it tastes like oats, but it's good. It's oatmeal cookie, oat creamer. So let's go ahead and shake it up like this. Okay, now we have our iced espresso. Let's go ahead and pour some of this over it, like so. Okay, hopefully this is good with the coffee. It's good, but since it's not like actual creamer creamer, you're going to need a little bit more, especially if you are used to that like creamer taste for your coffee. It's definitely drinkable though. It's not bad. I would rate it like maybe like a seven and a half out of 10, but let me go ahead and show you guys the cookies. Okay, so this is what the cookies look like up close. Let me go ahead and get some zooms in really quickly. But yeah, that is what the cookies look like. All right, so that concludes day 25 of Vlogmas. Um, I appreciate you guys for supporting me throughout the whole entire month, basically, because with Vlogmas, you do have to pre-film some of the stuff. So I've been doing Vlogmas just like, I think maybe the third week of November till the last week of November, all the way up to now. So I appreciate y'all support. Thank you guys for everything, every like, every view, every share that you guys do. Um, I really, really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I definitely want to do Vlogmas next year and hopefully I'll have some different ideas. But yeah, that concludes day 25 of Vlogmas, making some cookies, trying out some new creamer. Um, but yeah, 
that that's it guys it's it's really crazy because it's like you kind of want vlogmas to end because you have to basically you have to film every single day you have to edit it every single day you have to do the uploads every single day all the hashtags everything like all the bits and bobs of it um but it it was fun doing it for the first year of my vlogmas and i've been getting a lot of positive feedback from you guys so thank you guys so much as you guys can see we're still in the holly jolly spirit we still we're probably going to keep the christmas tree up for a long time um that's just how much we love Christmas um, but yeah we don't take it down um, right away some people do which is really really odd they get like so excited for Christmas and they just take it down but that concludes vlogmas um, don't forget to watch any other day of vlogmas I would really appreciate you guys um, if you guys would do that don't forget to drop a like also consider subbing and leave me a comment down below anything that you want doesn't have to be the idea that I left you guys in the video earlier but yeah, if you just want to comment about your day, what you guys did for Christmas, anything of that nature, I would love to read it. I always respond to you guys. I love interacting with you guys every single day. But yeah, I have an eight-hour stream to do tonight. So um, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much for all the support and love and everything. And yeah, that concludes Vlogmas Day 25 of 2023. Woo! We're officially done. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys. Give me like a week and then I'll do another vlog. Give me, let me have some rest and then I'll do another vlog. But I will see you guys soon. Bye guys. All right, so taste test. What are you Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>